Do you know how refrigerant injection works or demand cooling? We know overheat damages many, many compressors out there and causes many, many failures. One of the things you will see going forward with a lot of refrigerant retrofits from R22 or 404 is that the need of adding demand cooling, refrigerant injecting, or even head cooling fans. So with the demand cooling device, what does it do? Well, there is a probe that goes in the head of the compressor or onto the discharge line. It takes that temperature, and when that temperature gets too high, it says, listen, we need to cool down the compressor. Let's inject or flash some liquid refrigerant into the compressor to cool it down into a manageable temperature. You have to go and check with the compressor manufacturers on their sizing software or on their software to see at what temperature do you need refrigerant injection or demand cooling for the low temp application. And there are some cases even in medium temp when you're running a lower medium temp, you may need this. 